Hey, welcome back to Oklahoma. Thanks for tuning in. I always appreciate it. You know that. We're going to go a different route today uh, than the other stuff I showed you in the first sign video, but it's similar. And we're going to use a lot of the same medium. We're just going to try a different method. We're getting ready to make some really cool signs, so stick around. Real quick, I want to take you in here and show you what we're going to be dealing with today. I made these signs. This one says, there's a chance this is vodka. Pretty cool old looking sign. Fresh coffee. Add a vodka splash. Nerdy girls are awesome. Vintage junkie. And vintage junkie. Every bit of this I got the designs and did all the artwork on Canva. If you're not on Canva, you need to be. It's free. Sign up, give them your email address, go to work. You can reverse the graphics. For instance, this one, I've also got it in reverse so that I can do a reverse Mod Podge, and I'm going to try that today. And then I've got this little small wooden sign that's going to be the flagship because I'm going to try it on this first. I've got that Vintage Junkie turned backwards, and I'm going to flip it over and Mod Podge it to this wood after I paint it. Let it sit. And then we're going to take a, a damp cloth and get this paper wet, rub all the paper off, and the transfer is supposed to stick to that. I've never done this before, and I'm not the guy that invented it. There's a hundred videos out there on this stuff, but I want to try it and see what it looks like. So anyway, let's get started. I'll see you in the shop. Okay, so to start off with, I'm kind of on the fence. I want to do the transfer on this side just because it looks so cool, but I don't know if I want to paint it totally black, so I think I'm just going to edge it and maybe paint just a just a smidgen of this black paint on the uh, wood before we get started. Let that dry just a minute and I'm going to get started on the uh, other process. This is going to really be cool. Hang with me. So we're going to put a thin coat of Elmer's glue over this whole face. Let it sit for a couple of minutes and then we're going to go with the white and go over that and see what it looks like. Let's see what happens. Set that to the side, let it dry for a few minutes. And we'll go to step two or three. I got a cup of water here. Drop the brush in to keep it wet. Okay, so it's been like five or ten minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and coat this with the white. You go one direction. You can go down and back, but don't go more than that it won't crackle properly so we're going to go this way this way and this way and this way all the way through clean up around the edges and we're going to let this set up and dry for a couple of hours so I'll be right back with you when I feel like this is dry enough to start our other step. Okay guys, so here, this is something I really want you guys to know. After I got the Elmer's glue and everything on it and the paint over it, waiting for it to start crackling, which it's doing a good job, it started to bow. What I'm gonna do is move it over here to my workbench cover it with wax paper and put something heavy on it and let it sit and move on to the other metal sign. Other than the wooden sign, my wife had five particular signs that she wanted 
I took it upon myself while I was off camera to cut five pieces of metal to the appropriate size, eight and a half by 11. And now we're gonna get started preparing these. I'm only gonna do one on camera. All the others will be exactly like this. We're just gonna sand the edges and we're gonna rough up the surface that we want the picture to actually stick to. We're gonna go with the 80 grit. You can buy this at Lowe's or anywhere else. And we're gonna rough this up. I've seen a lot of people in the past not do this and then wonder why their graphics don't stick. You've got to rough this up and then you've got to clean it off with alcohol when you're done. In order to get a proper adhesive. And we're going to smooth up all the edges. Just to make sure the grandbabies or anybody else don't get their banana skinners hurt. Go by touch. If it feels good to you, it's going to feel good to everybody else. That's good. All right, now we're going to go to the next step, which is rubbing this down with alcohol. Guess what? We're going to flip it. We're going to paint the back first. You don't want a bare metal sign on the back side, so I'm going to paint this black. Once it dries, I'm going to flip it over and start the, the magic. All right, here we go. Let that dry for a few minutes and we'll move on to the next step. The back side is now dry. I used a heat gun. You know, I'm, in, I'm an impatient guy. Now it's time to coat the front side and I'm going to do it in black as well. So let's get started on this. So it looks like the black is dry enough. I'm going to get started now on my almost blue. So here we go. I'm going to give it the old college try. I'm going to smooth this out all over the whole entire piece that I decided to use for the front side. We're going to let this sit for five or ten minutes. We're going to go over it with the white. We're going to see what this looks like. We're going to let this sit till it dries. Then we'll transfer the uh, artwork that I did on Canva over to this. Anyway, here we go. Okay, so it's been 24 hours. The first sign on the 8 by 10 or 8.5 by 11 metal is dry. I'm getting ready to sand that. And I've got four, the other four signs I went ahead and sanded, rubbed down with alcohol, and painted the first side black. So I'm going to be working in steps today. We're going to start off with giving this a good sanding. Now, I'm using some lighter grit stuff, 320 in, out of that packet. I just want to rough this up. I don't want it to look, it looks, it looks old enough as it is. We're going to lightly hit each edge just to get the little fuzzies off. I'm gonna go crazy with it. And I'm gonna wipe this off with a rag. Believe it or not, that's the side that mama decided she wanted. She liked that. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so as long as we're experimenting today, 
I'm going to try on this small piece to transfer this, which is backwards because I'm going to lay it like that. And I'm going to use the polyacrylic crystal clear top coat. And we're going to put a nice, pretty heavy coat on the whole entire area that we want to stick this. So we got that on there nice and thick. Then we're going to take and flip this over. We're going to line it up. Rub it down and get all the bubbles out. Not getting too crazy. You don't want to tear the paper or anything like that. We're going to set this to the side and According to what I saw, the cool thing about this is it dries in a couple hours, whereas the Mod Podge you have to let sit for 24 hours before you rub the paper off. Okay, so while I'm waiting on the transfer to dry on the small piece, I want to hold up because if that works wonderfully, then I'm going to do all the sides with that because of the short drying time. I'm so impatient when it comes to that. So, in the meantime, I've got my workstation here all covered with crap. I've got my toolbox behind me with stuff, and I'm working in stages. And then out the door of my shop, I've got a sawhorse set up. And, sorry, my camera's kind of shaky. I covered the back side of these already with flat black spray paint. Now I flipped them and I'm going to coat these while we're waiting. Just to give you an idea, you, you got to have a little room. You're going to be working in stages and you want to get a pretty coherent or cohesive workstation so that you're not just constantly moving stuff around. That's why I've got three different areas where I'm doing this. All right, guys, it's the moment of truth for this small sign. I think this is dry enough. So... We're supposed to dip our fingers in water and apply it on here until you see the transfer. So far, so good. I sure hope this doesn't mess up. I don't care if it looks a little hinky because she wants it to look aged anyway. So, once you get it coated and you can see everything, and you start working, rolling all the paper off. Okay guys, all in all, I really love this. I think it's potentially a game changer. Look at that. It turned out amazing. It's pretty rough around her nose and her face, but that's due to the paint chipping underneath. All in all, I am very pleased with how this turned out. And I think I'm going to start using this possibly more than I do the Mod Podge, mainly because of the uh, the speed up and drying time and it just, I don't know, it just looks quality. It looks a lot, a lot better. I'm very pleased with that. So that being said, we're going to move on to the next phase and I'm going to start doing Probably this whole video is going to be the uh, polycrylic transfer other than, instead of the Mod Podge. It has to be a jet printer and it has to be water-based, premium water-based, polycrylic. And I got the clear mat. <clears throat> okay guys, so here we are. The next day, 24 hours later, I let this stuff sit and dry. Everything looks good. On the front side, I didn't do the back yet. I can do those after the fact. I don't even care. We got a lot of ground to cover. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible, but I don't want to take away any of the detail that you guys are going to need while you're making these signs. So just to reiterate, this is what I got done with yesterday. 
small sign I added a couple of planks because it's so thin it was trying to bow up I'm gonna paint that antique it to match look how freaking cool that turned out that's the polyacrylic then I went ahead and coated this one for my wife it says vintage junkie and it's got mixtape 1980 so now we're gonna move on she gave me the rundown that she wanted to get started for the Halloween uh, stuff the Halloween themes are coming up pretty quick now these are going to be backwards but I've got them uh, I've got them reversed on purpose for putting them on uh, the actual metal Happy Halloween with a good old vintage picture of Frankenstein. An LP says Monster Mash. That's pretty cool. It's fall, y'all. Oklahoma, everybody says y'all. I don't know where you're at, but that's the norm around here. This one I thought was cool because it's retro and old looking. It says <laughs> Happy Halloween or something. That's gonna look amazing. Anyway, that's it for the Halloween theme. We're getting ready to get started coating another uh, piece on here this evening. Okay, first and foremost, we're going to go over this with a sandpaper. Okay, so I cut out the sheet with all the color. That's the one she wanted next rounded the edges I'm gonna set this thing just like so all right we're gonna coat this pretty heavy just let be lenient with it don't be afraid you can't put too much now that we got that coated we're gonna turn this over I'm gonna line it up we're going to work the bubbles out of it. We're going to make sure we line it up as best as we can. And that's it. Once we get this on there and dry, any place that we're shy of the border we can blend that in or even add a little rust effect, so that don't even matter. We're just going to try to get close. We just want good adhesion. We don't want any air bubbles. I don't know if you can tell it on the screen, but there was a few bubbles there, and I think we're getting them all worked out. We're going to set this to the side and let it dry and let the magic happen. Green is really big right now. That's why I made Frankenstein in this color. We're going to go with this one next. Easy peasy. Same process. Now don't forget, I'm sanding my pieces each time before I put these on. I'm just not putting you through the grilling process of this. Okay guys, I got Mama out here in the man cave and I've got first few signs done they're headed to the antique store tomorrow I always have to get her seal of approval on everything so these five signs are heading out I just wanted you guys to get a view of it Mama, is everything the way you wanted it? Yes, I picked them out. Awesome. All right, guys, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I got Mama's seal of approval on the first five signs that are headed off to the antique store. And I want to say right off the bat, I apologize if you can hear my AC running, but it is over 100 degrees outside. And I'm sporting a Yule Brenner haircut, in case you hadn't noticed. And that temperature outside will melt the skin off my head. So, we moved everything indoors. 
Now I'm getting ready to get started on the last signs and I think I'm 100% sure, in fact, that I can get three more signs out of this one piece of metal that I got at Lowe's. I'll leave a link in the description below showing you the part number off of it. That gives us a grand total of eight signs off a $15 sheet of metal and just a few uh, products. It's cheap to make these. And this um, a, a poly acrylic that I'm using in this video is amazing. I don't know if I'll ever do Mod Podge again. This is so much faster and so much better. So without further ado, let's get started on these last three signs. This right here is a factory edge and this one is. The bottom has been cut on, the side's been cut on. So we're gonna start in this corner and go boom, boom, boom. And try to get three more signs out of this with very little waste. And here we go. Just to reiterate as we go, I chose one of the signs that's heading out tomorrow. I'm gonna to use it for the dimensional size of the last three signs, because I know these work. This is made to be able to put a late eight and a half by 11 sheet of regular copy paper with whatever design you choose, reversed of course. Um, if you guys will do me a favor and comment on these videos and let me know if you want me to show you a video of how I go from start to finish just on doing the art graphics and stuff on this on Canva I'll be more than happy to go over that with you and I'm not going to spend the time doing it if nobody's interested it's an excellent source to, to do your artwork on it's free no big deal that being said we're going to outline this with our sharpie going to move it over we're going to do the second one we're going to move it over and do the third one okay so we got our three pieces cut and there was very little waste so basically just know you can make at least eight eight and a half by eleven signs or you can make maybe more signs if, you, if some of them are smaller these last three signs that I decided to do for her are this one is a scarecrow sitting in a tree and it says, want to hang? I thought that was really cool. Monster Mash. Anybody that grew up in the 70s, 80s will know what this is. Some of the millennials may not, but that's cool. Uh, Halloween time. How are you going to beat the song Monster Mash? I don't know if it's popular anymore, but when I was a young teenager, it was popular. And then this one says, who needs a big hug? This is the one I'm doing on the pink transfer. It's a scarecrow, so it's still good for fall. It's got a lot of variation of color, so I don't think it'll have any problems selling. So for you guys, you can pull up your original design on Canva and look at it and you can change certain things on your original design if some things didn't show up like they should have. i take a Sharpie. Isn't that crazy? I'll take a regular Sharpie and I'll go around and touch things up to make sure that at least you can understand the verbiage on something like this. Even though you want it to look kind of roached out, I have no problem with smears and stuff like what is on this original design, but the S was completely missing. So now it looks like who needs a big hug? That's the that's what you were intending, the point that you were intending to get across in the first place. So now you can tell exactly what's being said here, even though it looks roached out, that's what you want. You want an old sign, so I'm going to uh, pull back out of this. I'm going to coat this with clear coat, and I'm going to call it a day. Okay, guys, so here's my fix for this. I've got this little set of acrylic paints. Get all this stuff off Amazon. Found me some white. Then... On any of these that are that seem to be unlegible, 
whoopie do so easy to fix not a big deal okay guys so at the end of the day these three signs this one had a little problem with the s on who needs this one turned out perfect this one had a little bit of problem with the g and the question mark on wanna hang we fixed them we're going to clear coat these and call it good if you can't get much out of this sign because it looks too roached out who cares we'll do better on the next one Okay guys, as promised, I got my beautiful wife to finally get on camera. It's almost impossible to get her on here, but she's beautiful. Um, I'm sure you guys would rather look at her than me. So, at the end of the day, we were able to get eight signs out of one sheet of metal. I hope I went through it in enough detail. Um, do you like the polycrylic finish better than you did the Mod Podge? Yes. Which one's your favorite, that one? Frankie's my favorite, which Halloween is a biggie here. It makes the process a whole lot quicker, and that means faster in my booth. I have a booth named Mommy Doe Booth, and you're probably going, why Mommy Doe? I am a mom, wife, GG, and I pretty well tell you, have you ate? Have you pottied? <laughs> um, it, that's just me. Yeah, I, nothing gets by mama dough. So. No, no. So the perfect thing was mama dough booth, and these little babies will sell quick, and they're beautiful, they're light, the colors, they look old. A lot of people have the new ones that hardly have any wear or tear and I see people pass them all the time. This one, old school looking, but still is kid friendly, but also fun too. Yeah. Was there any of them that you really weren't? overly impressed with like the transfer didn't take really well on this one yet this one this was our flagship one that we just started with on the polycrylic did you like that i love this one because woman power <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well anyway guys we're going to call it a wrap on this listen i need a favor if you want this beautiful lady in the videos from now on, please leave a comment below. I have tried so hard to get her on here and she just won't do it most of the time, but I really feel like she plays an integral part in all this. This is the whole reason I do this is for her and her booth. She's got a real eye for color. She's a, an amazing interior designer and she stages for other people that have booths in the Cranberry Merchant where her booth is because she's got such a good eye on, on putting things together. So if you want to see more of that, please leave a comment below. Other than that, for Oklahoma, me and Mama Doe are signing off. I love Bye you. Bye, guys. <laughs>